Hey guys and gals, this is Psionic Arrow, and I've got the ARL 44 Tier 6 French Heavy Tank. And this is a very interesting tank uh, due to its uh, weapon choice, and also, I think, due to the image that you see uh, right here at the bottom. Uh, with most of these um, these images on the bottom to choose your tank, you will notice that they're usually usually in their stock form. Uh, so we can see uh, the Panther has that stock turret, the the Tiger II stock turret. These are the stock guns on those TDs. Um, Yep, stock turret, stock. Pretty much every image down here that you see to choose your tank is going to be a stock image. However, with the ARL, they're showing you the ARL with the stock gun and the upgraded turret, as you can see right here. Uh, so first, we'll get into some stats. It's got 820 hit points. Um, kind of usable. <coughs> It weighs 47.38 tons with a 750 horsepower engine. It's got a 37 km per hour speed limit, which it reaches um, pretty fast. Uh, 20 degrees per, s per second track traverse, 22 degrees per second turret traverse. Uh, pretty average for a heavy tank. The hull armor, 120 on the front, 110 uh, on the front of the turret armor. <coughs> Uh, side armor on the hull is 50 and 50 on the back. Side and rear armor of the turret is 30 and 30 on the back. Um, it has a 330 meter view range, so uh, not too good, but it's got a 750 meter radio. So that's excellent. Alright, so first off, we'll take a look at the guns. Uh, you will be starting with this 90mm DCA-30 that you get on the BDR G1B. The 135mm penetration 240 damage gun. <coughs> now this is actually a pretty good gun. Uh, it is much improved than the version on the BDR as it has uh, much better accuracy and aiming time. Um, let's let's try and compare that. BDR with this guy. Get that out of the way. And ARL with. Oh, it just opens up the same. <laughs> okay, so um. <coughs> Let's go back to that BDR. It has a 2.5 second uh, aiming time, whereas on the ARL, it, it gets put down 2.3 seconds, so uh, it feels much better. And that's what you'll be starting with uh, when this, you, when you first unlock this tank. However, you will not have this turret. This turret will not be. Uh, very pretty. The stock turret is the ARL 44 Experimental. It actually has more armor on the side and the back, uh, a little bit less view range and not as much traverse, but here's what it looks like. This is... I don't know, I want to call it a camper van. What is the other one? Uh, an RV. <laughs> you can probably have people sleeping in the turret. Lying flat as well. I don't know. This thing is just uh, completely ridiculous. All flat armor on every side. And um, it's massive. People can shoot this guy all day long. You, you're going to like poke out from... Uh, you know, behind rocks, your turret will probably be exposed. Even the top of this part right here, where the commander probably uh, stands, is what it looks like. <laughs> the gun is also not in the center of the tank, so you might have to get a little bit used to that. Um, 
sorry, and not in the center of the turret. So the gun is off, slightly off to the side of the turret. Now in stock form, you will also not have this very powerful engine. You will actually start off with a 575 horsepower engine. So you will be very sluggish, a very large target, and a decent gun. Uh, at tier 6, you will be firing off shots like you would in uh, a German medium tank. Uh, VK3601, for example, or 3001P. It's similar to those, except you're a much larger target and you don't have as much armor. Alright, so let's get rid of that. We'll go with the uh, better turret and better gun. Now, the gun. You will want to research. Sorry, you will want to research this DCA 45, 9mm DCA 45, very, very quickly. Um, and here's why: it has 212 millimeters of average penetration, uh, 240 average damage, 0.38 accuracy, and 3.4 seconds of aiming time. So yes, the aiming time is very bad, but with 212 millimeters of penetration. Uh, almost anything that you aim at, you can penetrate. And I've been having uh, quite a few games where, you know, you're going up in uh, a tier 6 tank, so you'll be matched up with tier 8s sometimes. And when you're in a tier 8, sorry, not when you're in a tier when you're facing a tier 8, uh, all, you do, all you have to do is do a little bit of aiming, fire off a shot, you'll probably do damage. This thing has amazing penetration for a tier 6. In fact, this gun right here moves on to the uh, AMX M4 1945, which is the tier 7, and that's the top gun on that tank as well. So, not too bad. Uh, let's go on to the armor. Did I? Yeah, I mentioned the armor, but uh, we're going to take a look at the sloping. You see the front plate is pretty much the only place where you will have uh, some bounces. Uh, because of the sloping and how, you know, if you're angled properly, they'll either shoot your front plate and bounce off of it, or they'll shoot you in the tracks and track you. Uh, this thing has pretty big tracks, and you can see the turret is mounted in the center of the tank. Uh, so when you're rounding a corner, the first thing that the enemies will see is the tracks. Uh, even this part right here. Even when you think, like, I've backed up behind buildings and I thought I was perfectly safe, but then they just shot my tracks out. Uh, now, the ARL does have... Uh, a lot of track showing and that means that you can use it to your advantage um, and what I mean by that is that in World of Tanks the tracks absorb quite a lot of damage and as you can see there's actually a little bit of uh, armor plating here and it's um, not enough to you know uh, protect you, you know, against shots coming in straight on, but if you're rounding a corner, you're probably going to be coming out like this, you know, at a really steep angle. So uh, the best thing that the enemy can do is track you and force you to not be able to shoot them. A and sometimes not even that, they'll just, you know, damage your tracks only, and you just roll out, shoot them, and then back up again. Okay, so for equipment, I have placed an enhanced gun lane drive for uh, better aiming speed. I've got a repair kit because my crew is not trained in repair just yet. And the repair kit does help very much in repairing the tracks without having to use a small repair kit. Also, you might want to consider using... Um, what is that thing? A, a large caliber tank gun rammer uh, because this gun um, it has an okay fire rate but if you want to fire shots off a little bit faster uh, you might want to put on a gun rammer obviously the best thing you could have gotten for this tank would be a vertical stabilizer but 
doesn't look like it's available here. And that's probably why I don't have it. So, uh, the enhanced gun laying drive is your best bet. Um, ventilation is also probably a good thing to have, but uh, I'm having a pretty fun time in this tank with just my setup right now. Uh, I've loaded 42 armor piercing shells and 8 high explosive and a 0 premium because, well, what are you gonna do? Like, you're gonna have 259 millimeters of average penetration with uh, a premium round. It's gonna cost you 4,000 credits per shot. And, well, you're not really gonna be facing anything that has. that's gonna be able to stop. 212 millimeters of penetration. I mean, uh, a Ferdinand rolling up to you, you can shoot him in the front, um, like right next to his gun. Um, not the gun mantlet, but the the housing that's around the gun. And uh, that's only, I think that's only 200 millimeters. Let's, let's try, check that out for Ferdinand. Yes, it is only 200 millimeters right here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm talking about the top part where the gun is located. Right here, it's completely flat, and uh, even an ARL can penetrate it, as long as it's got this uh, DCA 45 90 millimeter cannon. All right, so on to the crew, 100% crew. I've got this guy training in Mentor, the commander. Um, this. Uh, the gunner in snapshot, so that's um, for turret rotation. I don't. I find that you can get uh, circled in this tank. It's not a very fun prospect because you have no armor on the other side. Uh, so I put on uh, off-road driving, situational awareness, and repairs. So this is actually a mix of everything that I feel like this tank should have. Maybe uh, clutch braking would be nice, uh, but I think off-road driving benefits the tank more than uh, anything else because you're going to be driving on rough road in some maps, you're going to be driving on smooth road in others, and um, you just want to be able to stay mobile. This thing, um, it can snipe if you wait long enough uh, for the aiming time, the aiming reticle to shrink down. Now the turret, you can see it's uh, not very large. There's a uh, pretty good sloping on the side here. If people are shooting at you from the front, you might get some bounces here and here, off the top, maybe. But the commander's hatch right here is actually quite small. There's not too much you can shoot at with the turret. Uh, the gun mantle is right here. Over here, obviously, if you know you're at the enemy tank is right in front of you. They'll be shooting here, here, uh, maybe they can be shooting down into your armor as the, you know, the gun be around here and they'll be sh pointing downward so that they'll cancel out most of the angle of your front plate. Uh, they might shoot your driver's, uh, driver sits uh, somewhere along here and uh, I've been, my driver's been taken out before. This brown thing here that kind of looks like a machine gun port but it doesn't have a machine gun barrel sticking out of it um, it is kind of a weak spot but because the tracks are so so large you know so much further than the front of the tank um, I don't find that getting shot there is too much of a problem so engine at the back don't want to get shot there very vulnerable, of course. Um, and let's see. Uh, so this is a tier 6 heavy tank. So I find that I like this second best. Like this, I like this, the second... Um, how should I say this? This is my second most favorite tier 6 heavy tank. There we go. <laughs> First one would be the KV-1S with its huge 390 damage gun and an okay 175 mil, uh, millimeters of penetration. 
this thing I like because it has so much penetration. It doesn't. It does not fear tier eight tanks. You know, you, sometimes you go up against a tier eight tank in tier six, and you know you'd be bouncing off of it all day because all you can see is the front of their tank, and you're too slow to get around them. Well, not in the ARO. Uh, if you can pick out some weak spots, you can probably damage them. Do I have any other tier 6s? KV-1S I sold. Uh, SU-100 has the same kind of gun. Uh, 175 pan, 390 damage. Obviously, it's a tank destroyer version, so it's more accurate and faster firing. Um... That's not a heavy tank. Oh, oh, here we go. Churchill, uh, Mark Seven. Uh, he has 148 millimeters of penetration, 140 damage, but he is quite accurate, and it does not have the horrendous aiming time uh, that the ARL has. Obviously, he doesn't do as much damage, but he does fire a lot faster, and of course, more armor. Uh, I sold the M6, yeah. Alright. Uh, let me check on the M6. American heavy tank. It has this gun. So 160 pen, 240 damage. Alright. So nobody will have the same amount of penetration that the ARL has, however... Um... I, I guess the M6 is, the style of the M6 is similar to the AR ARL, except the M6 has its turret mounted near the front of the tank. Um, and that means it can go around corners much better than the ARL. So uh, I'm going to be showing you some of that in the replay, and let's get right to it. Alright, so this is standard battle on Lakeville, and um... I always like to destroy this supply depot thing right here. And I'm going to be heading off into the town. Uh, as you can see, most of the team looks like they're going into the, uh, the swamp area. Okay, so there you go. This is the 37 km per hour speed limit that you see on the ARL, and it's doing it fairly well on slightly rough terrain. Not very rough. But it's okay. So I'm gonna try and catch up with these guys right here. This is a tier 7 match. Alright, so we've got one tank destroyer of the enemy team that just went down um, that middle lane right there. And there's a KV-2 somewhere in the city. Obviously towards the edge, otherwise he would not be able to hit uh, our KV-1S. There he is. So you can see uh, we've got four tanks here versus their uh, five. Six. Sorry, six right there. And here I am. I'm trying to uh, anticipate some flanking action against uh, our KV-1S, I believe it is. Oh no, our IS. Okay, so here it is. Uh, they bounced off me the first time. And here I think I'm safe. But I'm not. See, they can actually still try and shoot me, but because of how little my tracks were showing, uh, they missed. And you see right there, they actually hit me on my uh, front plate, actually. Well, so alright, so they're moving up quite a bit. This is not good. Um, T-43. There you go, see? Shot my tracks, I shot him, set him on fire, and leave him on very minimal health. KV-2 is coming, don't want to get shot by him, 
He looks like he's using that uh, 152 millimeter cannon. HE cannon. Alright, so uh, all we got left is the IS and myself. IS is going rather bravely. Okay, T43 it popped out for a second there. And now our IS is going to die. A uh, wrong move by that T43. <coughs> But, our ice is gone, our tiger's coming in, finally, to help a little bit. Get a shot in on the panther. <coughs> I'm gonna have to back off because I don't want to get shot. Alright, KV-2. Oh, and I left him on 12 health. Okay, so radio guy is dead. i just been shot again for... What, 400 damage? Like right right, yeah, I guess that T25 tank destroyer has um, a big 105. So here you go, I'm trying to use the, the tracks as a shield, and it's actually working quite well, except, you know, these guys come, and I get destroyed. <coughs> I got surrounded. Alright. So I know this doesn't look like a great game right now, Here we go. Here's our tier 7 heavy tank. Hiding in a bush all the way back here. <laughs> he does get uh, quite a lot of experience near the end because uh, he kind of turns the battle around. Although I, I would have thought that we would... I would think that we would do better if he actually moved up with these other two tier 6 guys that are in the base. That didn't happen and he is being shot at by... So I think that was the KV-2 that just shot him. Didn't penetrate all of his armor, so uh, it didn't do full damage. KV-2, however, farming premium is a very, very uh, bad tank to be facing, as it has so, it has amazing penetration with that premium shell, and that means it'll do about 700 damage for every shot. So this does look a little bit boring, let's take control of the camera. <coughs> yeah, right now I was actually more worried about this side because I knew um, there were a lot of tanks here, but it looks like they were taken out fairly easily since I knocked them down uh, quite a few health. So just that stock Hellcat over there, 3001 p takes care of him. Uh, we just lost our KV-3. Not a good prospect, but look, look over there. Hellcat and DK are actually going across uh, the middle part, which is actually quite smart right now because uh, we're pretty sure that uh, all the enemy tanks are in the swamp. So if I can take a look at this guy right here, or these guys, well, they're pretty much gone. They're done. Uh, T29, SU152. <coughs> this guy's in a very bad spot. He should not be trying to take aim at all. And he should have just turned around and tried to drive circles around. But right now, he's dead. And there we go. So what we got left is that T29, who's actually uh, come back to defend. He's doing actually a fairly good job at it. Uh, T29s are very good at defensive positions, as long as they can keep their hull from being shot at. And there's no artillery. Well, that was, that was pretty lucky. He just took on a T29 that might be able to one-shot him. Okay, the SU-152 has returned to base. Enemy SU-152 and has taken out the M18. Right, so the VK over here... Take a look at it. Ah, oh, there we go. Here's the VK. There's a really low health tiger. Yeah, there you go, 29 health. Ta-da! SC-152 versus VK, and the VK wins! Yay! Alright. So let's take a look at the stats. 1,086 points of experience. Um, let's see, I got two kills. I'm dead, of course. Uh, but I did get the most experience and on the whole team, and I made 30,000 credits on premium, or 17,000 on a non-premium account. Uh, eight shots fired, eight of them hit, eight of them penetrated. It did a total of 2,300-some damage. Uh, I got hit uh, quite a few times. Can't really see it on this tiny screen right now. Um... 
And that's about it. Well, I guess I got 1,629 experience on a premium account, and that was also a double, so that's kind of nice. Alright, thanks for watching. Please press that like button and leave some comments. I'll see you guys in the next video.